What up? How you doing? I'm doing good. My call me a vest on here, jacket on. This is gonna be about this amount of hardware. Synthetic puffy. Stay tuned. Alright, let's get started with this homie review. Woo! So, this is another synthetic jacket. I did the Mont Bell one yesterday. I'm doing the Mountain Hardware one today. And guess what? It's gangster yellow. Yeah, baby. So, what do I like about this vest? Well, I like that it's really lightweight. It's about the same weight as the Mont Bell one. Maybe about 250 grams or so. I'll weigh it for you and do a cutaway. I like the zip. Oh, I love the color. Even though it's not blue, this is my gangster yellow color. My second favorite color in the whole world. And then there's orange, which would be my third. So, it's got a golden egg yolk color on the inside, which will match my Monto Yellow Minus Six sleeping bag that I reviewed the other day. Let's check it in the cards. So, I wore this one in Tasmania, doing my gangster walk. January this year and I found it to be pretty good. It was cold down there even though it was summer but it kept me warm enough. I would have liked it to be a little bit warmer so the level of insulation is very quite thin but it's quite adequate I find. Okay so let me put it back on because when I don't have it on I'm not in gangster mode. Now I'm in gangster mode. Okay what else do I like about it? Um, Zip's good. Zip. Got zippered pockets. Nice. It's got a cinch. Not in the pockets like the Mont Bell, but it's got a cinch for the bottom. A little cord there. And then that locks in your pink down there. To release it, a little nice little button down there. And then that releases it. Um, it doesn't have a hood, but it's got a nice collar. You can definitely look gangster when you're out on the trail. Um, what else do I like? Mm, that's quite quite enough. What don't I like? It's not very. It doesn't have much give, like the Montbell one. Um, so it's a little bit stiff. So it doesn't have much give. So um, I don't really like that about it. So that's typically a synthetic jacket, but it's okay. So another thing I don't like about this necessarily is the size is quite large. This is the small, and it, even the small is quite large on me. So it's got quite a lot of like gaping gapingness and that tends to make it cooler not as warm not as close to your body there's probably only a few things i don't like about it it's not particularly warm it's quite thin synthetic insulation it's like got something like 60 grams of q something or other insulation in there um, it's quite billowy and gapy even the small one um, but that's probably about the only main two things that i don't like about it i think it's an american fit model um, it's got elastics on the end which is nice um, yeah, the zip's good, like, that's what it looks like when you put your arms out. You put your arms out, yes, it wasn't me, so police officer. I am a gangster, but I'm a good gangster. Yeah, so. Hi, here's another feature that I forgot to mention. Um, at the top of the zip, it's got a little lip guard in there, so the zip doesn't get in your mouth. That's nice. You know what else is nice that I forgot to mention? Is in this pocket here, there is a second zip there on the inside. So this other pocket doesn't have that. There's no extra zipper puller on there. On this one there is. And that means that this can be turned inside out and the jacket rolled into this pocket. So that's like the stuff sack. So that's even better than the way Mont Bell jacket worked. So, you got a nice little pocket there. You push it in there. Yeah, and then you zip this baby up. You've got like egg yolk yellow on the outside or brown. And then it's in that nice little little pocket there. It's got a little loop on this end. It says stow. You can hang it by that. And it's also got a bigger hanger on this end. So you can use like a little hammock. So let's uh, put it on the scale and see how heavy it is. Let's start with grams. Boom. 253.8. Amazing. And 8.95 ounces. So that's even lighter than the Ultralight Femurap Parker 
from my belt, but the Parker, I guess, had a hood. This one doesn't have a hood, but it's still, still thumbs up. Cool, let's unzip this baby. Oh, look at fluoro yellow that is coming out of its own pocket, sort of like giving birth to itself. Oh, the pain. Oh, look, it's all over. And look, we've got a beautiful yellow child as a result. Let's zip that up. There we go. And there's the other one. Oh, look at that. So, there it is. Let's unzip this baby. Have a look on the inside. So, there we go. Let's see what this thing here says. So, let's fold this puppy up. This. Let's release that um, out there. Zip that up. Roll that up. Don't have a hood to roll it into. What am I gonna do? That's it. Oh look, there's the Mountain Hardware logo. Nice. It's nice. Beautiful. Boom. your lips and get it stuck and try it again. There we go. It's like a little purse, like a little pocket. Beautiful. Oh, so that is my review of the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer or whatever this one's called. I can't remember. I'll put it up on the screen. So that's my review of this synthetic jacket the, from Mountain Hardware. It's pretty good. I'll use it again. Blue Boy in yellow, Gangster Yellow out. <laughs>